Etihad paid £99 million to sponsor Man City from 2012 to 2015. But how much of that was actually paid by Etihad? Well, leaked emails in 2018 revealed they only paid £8 million, with £91 million being funded by City's owner, Sheikh Mansour. The Premier League started investigating, and now finally, 10 years and 16 trophies later, a court date has been set for the biggest trial in sports history. City face 115 financial charges, and with Everton's recent 10-point deduction and the UK government threatening external regulation, this is the Premier League's chance to set a precedent that these oil money sports washing projects can't cheat and get away without a proper punishment. In the Premier League charged Manchester City with over a hundred breaches of its financial fair play rules. They've been investigating this, it would appear, since at least 2017. They didn't provide accurate financial information. Some of those charges are extremely serious. The claim is that they've been falsifying their accounts. I didn't think the rules were, were clear to fans, and I, I think they are clear. They've been in place for 10 years. People don't know if this team, this whole project, is based on some wrongdoing in the past. You read them, they should be relegated, we should be relegated. I can't give any details on Man City beyond saying that a date has been set. Many of the other Premier League clubs would actually want Manchester City to be relegated. City face 115 breaches of the Premier League rules, and they can be broken down into three main categories. Firstly, they broke financial fair play rules by supposedly disguising ownership funding as sponsorship payments. City's owner, Sheikh Mansour, who is the Vice Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates, gave money to one of City's many Abu Dhabi sponsors, like its bank, Palace Hotel, Airway, Tourism, Properties and Energy Company and then forwarded the money to City through artificially inflated sponsorship deals. They've spent nearly 1.5 billion since Abu Dhabi Group bought the club in 2008, and that money certainly didn't come from City's fan base. Secondly, City are also accused of not fully disclosing payments they made to their managers and players, with Mancini's contract and Torrey's agent freeze certainly at the heart of this. And then lastly, they're also being charged with failure to cooperate with this investigation. City have done everything they can to delay the investigations and not reveal evidence. As you might remember, UEFA investigated this in 2020 and found City guilty, but they appealed it to the Court of Arbitration of Sport, which overturned the guilty verdict. They decided UEFA's claims were time barred and the evidence wasn't sufficient. The suspicious thing about this was that City were the ones that recommended the chairman of this panel. So it really doesn't surprise me that the guilty verdict was overturned. But with the Premier League's investigation, City won't be able to appeal to the Court of Arbitration of Sport. They aren't time barred like UEFA. And most importantly, they'll have access to more evidence, like the full chain of emails that were leaked. City will soon face their fate. And with the trial likely to be later this year, there are seven different punishments that the Premier League could hand out. Firstly, they could reprimand them, which is basically like a slap on the wrist. Secondly, they could get a fine up to an unlimited amount. Thirdly, they could suspend them, which would give automatic wins to all of their opponents. Fourthly, they could deduct them points. Now this could be for the current season, but it can also be retrospectively. So they could deduct them points from the seasons where they cheated. Fifth, they could expel them from the Premier League and appoint them members of the English Football League. The EFL wouldn't have to accept them, but I'm sure they would with all the money that City brings. Sixth, the Premier League could enforce compensation payments for other clubs like teams that just missed out on the Champions League. And seventh, they could give City a transfer ban by refusing new player registrations. And then they could also combine any of those punishments together. When I asked you guys what you thought, 43% of you said relegate to League 2, but then 25 said City's lawyers will win. And that honestly wouldn't surprise me with the mega millions that they're going to spend on the best lawyers around the world to fight this case. I liked this guy's idea that they should be sent to the bottom of the football pyramid so they can have away days at hashtag United. I personally think they should be given a 30 point deduction from all of the seasons that they cheated. I don't think those titles should be given to other clubs, but they should be definitely taken away from Manchester City. I also think they should get a big fine that is given to grassroots football. And lastly, they should be relegated all the way to League Two so that the club is forced to have a total reset.
There are lots of other examples of similar punishments across sports. The most recent was Everton's 10 point deduction. They broke FFP rules after they thought the interest payments on the loans for their stadium didn't count for FFP. They immediately admitted to their wrongdoing but were still deducted 10 points. Nottingham Forest are also under investigation for breaking FFP laws after they spent huge amounts of money when they got promoted to the Premier League. There's also the example of Juventus who fixed their balance sheets by inflating their transfer fees and they got deducted 15 points. There was also the case of Marseille who got stripped of their league titles after they got caught bribing the opposition players to take it easy. Glasgow Rangers also got demoted all the way to the bottom tier of Scottish football after the club's liquidation. We also saw a similar example with Portsmouth. There's also examples outside of football. London Saracens, the rugby team, paid their players more than their salary by gifting them properties. They got deducted 35 points and got relegated but then immediately bounced back up. And then lastly there was the case of Lance Armstrong who admitted to taking performance enhancing drugs and then they took away all of his titles and he received a $5 million fine. City are being charged for financial doping rather than actual drug doping, but there's a strong case for punishing them in a similar way. Right, so for some final thoughts on the video, I thought I'd bring in my brother after so many of you commented about his opinions on the penalties video. So what do you think about this whole City case? First of all, I definitely think that City will manage to find a way out of it. I don't think they'll be found guilty. Just look at what happened with UEFA, you know? They, they managed to find a loophole because they're able to get the best lawyers because they have so much money. The Premier League just don't have enough resources and strength to battle the money and power that the Abu Dhabi group and City have. Caldon himself, the chairman of City, said you would rather spend £30 million on the 50 best lawyers and sue UEFA for the next 10 years than accept their punishment. Yeah, they, they'll, they'll fight it tooth and nail and ultimately the feeling is that the Premier League are not able to actually regulate themselves and maybe we need to look at getting a government regulator that isn't just motivated by money yeah i mean i think it's the only way forward realistically if they're especially if they get this wrong they say that say aren't guilty when it's pretty obvious that they are it just shows that the prem can't stand on their own two feet they have too many uh, ulterior motives we need to get someone who in who doesn't care about what's best for the prem and only cares about the, the, the fans, legalities, man. you know, the, the legalities. fans as well. What's best for the fans? We need a government regulator that's able to select a panel that is not bribable and to request evidence quickly and then regulate the sport in, for the benefit of the fans. If they're found guilty, what kind of punishment do you think is fair for Man City? I think a suitable punishment would be to relegate them. They'll have to do a complete rebuild. They'll they'll lose all their best players and they'll have to have yeah. a completely new squad, like rebuild them from the ground up. And this time with legal money. So have you got any final comments, Neem? I find it really interesting. The president of UAE and the president of Etihad Airways both went under oath yeah. in in a court saying that they had done nothing for wrong. For the UEFA case. For like. the UEFA case, yeah. <laughs> and if City are found guilty, then they'll have been lying, which could mean they could get up to three years in prison. Yeah, there could be some serious ramifications for that. And like, maybe that's in the back of the mind of the Premier League. They're like, man, if we find them guilty, suddenly some some of the big boys in Abu Dhabi are going to be under some serious heat. Do you have any final thoughts you want to let us know? Yeah, I have actually got a final thought. If you've enjoyed this video, definitely watch this video next. I'll just let the algorithm put whatever it wants there. And then also, if you fancy getting any stickers, I got some made some stickers. Let me get that in focus. I'm happy to send any stickers to anyone in the UK. Just uh, shoot me a message. If not, you might see them in your local urinals around London especially. And if you want one, just let me know.